Hey guys, this is my boat. It's just a work in progress, and she had soft decks. And the decks, the soft areas, were over here next to the engine engine box. I think this here is like eight by thirty, something like that. And you know, there's both sides, and there's a reason I left it dirty too. And right here in the center, I think this is about twenty-four by thirty-two. I think's what I measured. But anyway, just like all the other foam injection uh, videos you'll see, just go through and drill your holes. I think I used uh, 3 sixteenths. Put down your tape. And then just kind of go for it. You know, try not to drill through the back side. It's really easy to tell. Because you'll, you'll drill through, it'll go through the gel coat, and then all of a sudden it'll just be a hollow spot. And then you'll hit another solid. And just stop, you know, as soon as you touch that solid. But um, anyway, apparently all my wood was gone. And up in here, it would deflect probably a full inch, I would I'd guess. And now, it, it may have some deflection, but it does not have much. I'd say at, at most, it's not, not even a sixteenth of an inch, if that. And over here, this was a little different. Now you do the injection. You just um, squirt it into the hole until it until it goes to the next one. Or whenever you pull the uh, syringe out, you just uh, you'll see it come back up. Either way. But um, on this one right here, this one right here kind of caught me off guard a little bit. Because this one right here, I don't know if you can see it or not, I'm about 225 pounds. And it probably deflects about a quarter inch still. But let me show you why. It completely delaminated. There was no wood up in there. And the foam just simply went underneath. But at any rate, it's still pretty strong, you know, overall, and there you can tell there's no support down there. So it's got reason to be deflecting anyway. So uh, let me show you what I used. I used the, the uh, Loctite PL Premium uh, three times. It's the polyurethane glue, it's sort of like Gorilla Glue. This is the what I use mainly was the Gorilla Glue, um, the original. When I first started, I started off with these, and all you do is, you know, you'd open it up, put it, you know, you can guesstimate 25%, and then put the uh, other 75% of the Gorilla Glue. That's using that tight bond. And the reason you do that is on the model airplane form that I found was that um, they were doing their foam wing repairs and this is what they found the best mixture to be for expansion and for strength. So if you go and you just go squirting in Gorilla Glue by itself or the PL uh, Premium, you don't know what's in there. You don't know if it's dry. Mine, were, mine was fairly dry. So there probably wouldn't have been an expansion at all. And this is something like you would have just ended up with. But I've done some test mixtures. I used it by itself. I did 10% water by weight. I did put it on a scale and I did 25% by weight of the uh, Tight Bond 2, which is the exterior glue. It's not the Elmer's like they say to use. The Elmer's was an interior glue. So anyway, that's why I went with the, uh, the Tight Bond 2. And uh, the Gorilla Glue. And you got, you got good foam expansion and it cured all the way through. On the PL Premium, it does not dry nearly as fast as the Gorilla Glue. And I don't think it has as good of expansion, at least, you know, just using water. It, it, it's, it's pretty similar, I guess, but I don't know, the, the Gorilla Glue seems like it's just a better performer. Definitely a better performer as far as drying goes. But, um, <laughs> any rate, the Gorilla Glue is much easier to use. And the, the 
best way I found to actually uh, get it to the hole is don't use those little dispenser bottles. <laughs> you get these catheter syringes and you know you just pop the top off of it and then you can pull the plunger off of it and then you'd put the cap back on it again and get the uh, the tight bond and just drizzle it on the inside you know, to get the sides good and wet and then fill the rest of it up with a Gorilla Glue and then use your craft stick to mix it up in there and then after that you would just go and you would just stick it in the hole and force it in and with a Gorilla Glue I'm going to say it probably took about 10 seconds to, to push all of it into there the PL was so hard to push because it's a thicker glue I broke two of the plunger I mean two of the uh, syringe tops pushing so hard on it so that the PL is not a very user-friendly for this it works but it's not user-friendly and uh, also there's a mixing problem too when you put the PL in here it doesn't go down like a regular fluid it's almost like a putty so it'll kind of bunch up in areas and then when you start stirring it it's going to stir stick to the stick and you're going to have problems mixing it too now when you mix it you need to mix it quick because you don't have much working time because you want to get as many uses out of one of these as you can before you have to uh place it because the glue's starting to harden on it so the uh, the pl premium probably takes three or four times longer to inject into the deck than the gorilla glue does so, but anyway, if you go ahead and you use the Gorilla Glue and that Tight Bond 2 exterior, you'll have a good outcome with it. Now, there's uh, another product. I, I wanted to uh, use Injected Deck, but this is a very, very budget conscious boat. <laughs> and they wanted, I think it's $250, $300 for one tube of the Injected Deck. And their sight's down too try to get out of the wind some so what I found was there's a polyurethane um, injectable foam it's got the dual canister just like the injected deck it looks just like it by the color of the uh, of the mixture and it's uh, hydra dry 300 and I think it's about $40 a, um, a tube for that, which includes also the little mixing spout that you have to have. And to me, if what I know right now, I probably would have went ahead and used that instead because I went through a lot of the Gorilla Glue. This bottle right here at Lowe's, right around $19 I went through four and a half of these plus four 10 ounce tubes of the uh, PL premium and I went through three well two and a half of these uh, tight bond twos and that was what they were showing in the videos online was the Instadeck, even though it was $250, $300 with the one tube, the small boat kit, it did a lot more than what I have here. And if that um, Hydra Dry 300, I'll go ahead and put the link in the notes. If that's the same stuff, you'd come out far cheaper on a large area using it. And if you have just a small area, like over, you know, over there, you probably come out better using the Gorilla Glue mixture. And, um, but anyway, that's just kind of my thoughts on it, guys. And, um, good luck with your boats.